This is Muhammad Hamouda speaking. Today we are going to talk about the relationship between translation and culture. In other words, how can we translate cultural elements in the text? Or how can the translators deal with cultural specific expressions in the in the tar, in the source text okay and how can they reflect the cultural the, the culture of the source text in the culture or in the target text okay but before that we need to define culture what is culture and what's the relationship between culture and language before talking about the relationship between cultural uh, culture and the translation now culture actually we have more than 200 different definition of culture some of these definitions are narrow and other definitions are so wide but in general Newmark defines culture as I define culture as the way of life and its manifestations that are peculiar to a community that uses a particular language as it means of as it means of expression. And from this definition we note that culture is related to a group of people. The shared, the shared, I mean, uh, culture is the shared values, the shared language, or the shared values, principles, norms, and so on. The ways of life also, the shared norms, principles, ways of life that are shared by a group of people who speak or whose members speak the same language okay so in general the collection or a set of principles norms ways of life in general this set is shared between is shared among a group of people or a particular community and the the members of this particular community speak the same language okay uh, this is the simplest definition of culture. Uh, also, Newmark uh, talks about cultural features in any language. The first feature is ecology. Ecology means plants, animals, local winds, mountains, plains, and so on. Some animals, such as uh, camels in Arab in the in Saudi Arabia, we have so different types of camels. Uh, these types of camels are not known in the English. They know a camel as an animal, but they don't differentiate between various types of camels. But in Arabic or in Saudi uh, in Saudi Arabia, particularly in Saudi Arabia and Gulf states in general they differentiate between several types of camels so differentiating between several types of camels are related to the arabic like arabic culture so ecology is uh, uh, may in, or ecology some ecological terms may be cultural bound okay the second thing is material culture such as food, clothes, housing, transport, communications, and so on. Actually, material culture, for example, the Arabic dress, the Arabic traditional dress, uh, all of the, this dress, or this tra traditional dress, is a culturally, is culturally bound. Why? because it is not known in other countries uh, in other western or american countries okay it is known only in arabic bedouin areas so it is a cultural 
Arabic Bedouin areas. Okay, social culture, it means work and leisure. Uh, organizations, customs, ideas such as religious, artistic, legal, social, uh, and political. Religious, for example, a sheikh. And a kilmit is sheikh is used in the Arabic language, but it is not used in other languages. Al Baba also the same. It is related to Christianity. Uh, if the five gestures and habits. Uh, it is it refers to the non uh, or uh, it refers to body language in general some gestures may mean or have some gestures have a specific meaning in Arabic but they may they may have a different meaning in English okay so the fifth group is related to body language in general okay as you see culture religion uh, or we can say that uh, culture is an umbrella includes so many things such as religion religious as you see religious uh, connotations or religious words are also cultural words because these words are known for the are known in a specific religion and other people uh, don't know these really these religious terms or the connotations of these religious terms uh, also culture includes language because a group of people must share the same language we talk about features, norms, uh, ways of life, religious values, and so on. These are shared by a group, of, a group of people whose members speak the same language. So culture is a wide umbrella. It includes language. It includes religion. It includes animals, food, ways of life, uh, translation, communication. So it constitutes our whole uh, life okay so uh, in every text it is inevitable so not to see so many different cultural elements in the source text every source text most of the time unless it is a scientific text most of the time it includes uh, se several cultural elements. Now, how can we deal these cultural elements in the source text? Actually, in translation, we have about 16 different strategies. These strategies can be used to render cultural specific terms. The first strategy is cultural equivalence or cultural equivalence al -mukafi. أو المرادف الثقافي. How can what is meant by cultural equivalent? Equivalent means having a corresponding item or having an equivalent item, and this item should be cultural. So, uh, in this way, we have we a cultural item. Is translated by an ideal cultural item in the target language the source language cultural item is translated or is replaced by another cultural item which has uh, uh, identical equivalence okay or identical connotation look at the British Council, it is a cultural element. Al Merkaz al Thakafi al Britani. In Arabic, it is Al Merkaz al Thakafi al Britani. Taib Nijihana. As beautiful as Alak, Ajmal min al Budur, Ahla min al Qamar, Laylat al Badr. Taib Hadi, Ibaran. As beautiful as Alak, it is an idiom in English and it expresses how she is beautiful. Uh, the same 
connotation or uh, the, the target text أجمل من البدر أو أحلى أحلى من القمر ليلة البدر these two idioms reflect the same cultural notion of the source text a fox is not taken twice in the same snare لا يلدغ المؤمن من الجحر مرتين طيب نيجي هنا a fox is rendered as المؤمن Yo, yeah, uh, so we have slight differences, but at the end we have identical cultural notion. The source text and the target text uh, expressions share the same or hold the same cultural notion, identical cultural notion. Okay, despite the difference, the slight differences at the linguistic level. Fox is rendered as a Mu'min. At the linguistic level, it is, they are different. Thalabu Mu'min. Walakin, at the connotational level, both of them have the same value. Okay. The second, the second strategy is cultural correspondence. Cultural correspondence is different from the cultural equivalence in terms that uh, in, at a literal level, we have some sort of slight differences, al-mu'min wa fox, and at the, uh, the literal level. But cultural correspondence, the same literal, we use the same literal or an equivalent literal connotation okay or we have we use the same and exactly literal correspondence of the item such as to hit two birds with one stone يضرب عصفورين بحجر هنا لو اجينا عصفورين two birds بحجر with one stone to hit يضرب وبالتالي هنا ها we note that at these two terms hold the same cultural notion also at the literal level they are the same okay so, uh, the difference between cultural equivalence and cultural correspondence cultural correspondence the same notion the same cultural notion plus the same literal uh, notion while in cultural equivalence, the same cultural notion, but the literal notion is different, okay? Uh, the third translation strategy is accepted standard translation. At-Tarjama al-Mi'yariya al-Maqbula. Okay, some Arabic standard some uh, some english terms have become a standard in the arabic language and they are understood totally in the arabic language so these terms which become which are originally english terms and they become uh, standardized in arabic language then this is accepted standard translation such as the ends justifies the means it is الغاية تبرر الوسيلة. This is actually الغاية تبرر الوسيلة. The same culture, the cultural notion is originally taken from the English language, the English culture. I mean, but it is standardized. It becomes a standard in the Arabic language. It becomes standardized in the Arabic language. Okay. Uh, all of these examples are the same square parts, السيارات, and so on, roundabout, duwar, and jazeera. But, Niji, the fourth strategy is naturalization, التطبيع. We have talked about this strategy, and we said that uh, this strategy involves uh, adaptation of the same English pronunciation into Arabic language but with modifications or slight modifications to 
to make the pronunciation or the English pronunciation more acceptable in the Arabic language, such as democracy, demokratiya. As you see, the a similar pronunciation, but with slight differences, such as the al magbuta, Olympics, al alab al Olympia, or al Olympiat. Okay, there there is a slight difference between al Olympiat and Olympi Olympics, but they share a lot in common. Okay. Now, general sense. Giving the general sense. The general sense refers to al ma'na al -am. What is meant by al ma'na al -am? Uh, Actually, this procedure ignores the cultural charge of the source language term because we don't have a cultural equivalent. Term. Actually, this strategy can be used to render the cultural items which do, uh, which do not have cultural equivalent items in the target language. How can we deal these this issue? We can use we can or or we can translate the uh, the terms by giving the general sense or the general meaning indicating the general the general meaning but the cultural value is lost why because we do not have a cultural equivalent term in the target language to these terms such as congress it is a cultural term in english it is an american cultural term it is rendered as majlis النواب مجلس النواب we render or we give the general sense the general meaning of the congress but we do not have I mean we do not have an equivalent term because America has congress في عنا مجلس النواب ومجلس الشيوخ عنا مجلسين ومجلس لكل ولاية هذا النظام مش موجود في الدول العربية أصلا وبالتالي congress to render Congress as Majlis al nuwab the cultural value is lost, but the general meaning and the general sense is indicated. Salat mixture, tabak al muqabilat is the same, and so on. Uh, transcription or transference or transliteration, all of these strategies or all of these names refer to the same strategy transcription we said that uh, transcription means the adaptation of english pronunciation into arabic okay without any differences in terms of pronunciation so the difference between naturalization and uh, transliteration both of them include the adaptation of the, the English pronunciation but the difference between them the translate transcription adaptation without any kind of change but trans naturalization we made some sort of slight modifications to make the text more acceptable in Arabic pronunciation okay such as Savannah ترجمناها السبانة كما هي إليزية الإليزية نفس الحاجة with genes genes without any change adaptation of Arabic pronunciation using Arabic alphabets or writing using Arabic alphabets طيب نجي literal translation of meaning here we use a literal translation strategy every word is replaced by its equivalent word in Arabic language okay such as uh, fashion fruit al al hazina fashion hazin fruit fakiha so we render every word literally or all or we replace the source language words with their equivalent literal words in the Arabic language or in the target language. Okay, the White House, Al Bayt Al Abyad, and German uh, insurance company, Shalkat Tamin, and so on. Okay, 
طيب the uh, it strategy is translation couplets couplets means الثنائيات الثنائي couplet ثنائية طيب هذا معنى it is a combination of two strategies uh, so we use two translation procedures to render the item such as internet شبكة الانترنت as you see internet internet هنا بلاحظ انترنت والانترنت صار عندي ترانسكريبشن طبعا هنا عندي شبكة اديشن لانها مش موجودة في النص الاصلي وبالتالي صار عندي uh, اللي هو combination of two strategies so it is a translation couplet strategy okay the uh, same music notes نوتة موسيقية music موسيقية وبالتالي naturalization نوت نوتة وبالتالي ترانسليشن اوكي ميوزك وموسيقية ترانسليشن نوت ونوتا ناتشراليزيشن سو وي هاف ا كومبانيشن اوف تو ستراتيجيز اف يو لوك اول اوف ذيز اكزامبلز انكلود ا كومبانيشن اوف تو ستراتيجيز اوكي ناو ترانسليشن تريبلت تريبلت يعني ثلاثي طيب اذا ترانسليشن التريبلت او الثلاثي معناها using the three or using three translation procedures to, to render the cultural item such as فاستا ديش طبق معكرونة الباستا طيب نجي باستا وباستا transcription ديش وطبق اوكي ديش وطبق translation ومعكرونة عبارة عن addition لأنها مش موجودة في النص الأصلي so we have three combination or we have three translation procedures used to render fast dish okay طيب classifier classifier اللي هي الكلمة الشارحة يعني الكلمة اللي أضفتها أنا it is additional it is the additional word included or added So clarify the meaning of the original word such as baseball لعبة البيسبول لعبة هنا it is additional word so it is a classifier okay كلمة شارحة أو كلمة موضحة طيب 11 naturalization neutralization or deculturalization deculturalization as you see what is meant by deculturalization de معناها عدم يعني إذا ديكالتشراليزيشن فقدان القيمة الثقافية للنص أوكي أور لا التيرم أي مين أكان أوانز لما نترجمها لمشكلة عويصة ذا سيما ذا سيمانتيك ليفل ذا مينينج إز ريفليكتد باي ذا كالتشرال فاليو إز ميست إز ديس أبيرد أي مين Okay. Uh, most of the time uh, in deculturalization, usually we use paraphrasing a procedure to clarify the meaning, but the cultural value is lost. Uh, no need to talk about this strategy تحليل المكونات ما في داعي. طيب نجي للبارافريزنج الشرح المقتضب بارافريزنج وي وي بارافريز وي اكسبلين ذا ذا تيرم اوكي سو بارافريزنج از ان اكسبلينيشن مينز اكسبلينيشن اوف ذا تيرم سيمبلي تو اكسبلين ذا كالتشرال تيرم ان ذا سكند ان ذا تارجت لانجويج such as stick شريحة لحم البقر ها ها شرائح فخذ الخنزير as you see we explain the term okay طيب نجي traditional labels الترجمة الموقوتة أو المشروطة هنا الترجمة هذه بتكون جديدة يعني أنا بعمل مصطلحات not standardized yet لسه اجتاد على اللغة وبالتالي أنا بستخدم بحطها between brackets أو between 
inverted commas or quotation marks to mark their additional and conditional nature. Okay, such as the television, al al rai. Type tele al rai ka equivalent term into television is not yet established in Arabic language. It is a new term. So, uh, as because it is a new term, we translate it between brackets. We put it between brackets or uh, inverted commas. Okay, deletion al hadif. معناه ببساطة بحذف المصطلح من الكلمة. بحذف المصطلح وما بترجمه. Simply means the deletion or the omission of the term. But this is the simplest strategy. Now, gloss اللي هي glossary notes and footnotes. Actually, sometimes Christmas meal. وجبة عيد الميلاد طيب في عندي شرح ايش هي الكريسماس ميل ربما انا كطارق في التارجت لانجوج ما بعرف ما هي الكريسماس ميل ما هي وجبة عيد الميلاد وبالتالي بكتب فوت نوت في الحاشية بكتب شوية بشرح ايش المقصود فيها آه يعني شرح التاء مؤلفة وجبة مؤلفة من الغذاء التقليدي وديك رومي وحلوى عيد الميلاد و و و وبالتالي هنا أنا شرحت وتكون بين الساعة الواحدة إلى الثالثة ظهرا وفي تاريخ معين وبالتالي أنا شرحت المعنى أنا بترجمها وبعدين في الحاشية بكتب شوية شرح عنها Okay this is footnote or glossary Actually this is the end of this lecture I hope you get some benefits from the, this lecture thank you very much